Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Rack with Microsoft Teams. First of all, we have to create a video, uh, sorry, we have to create an account uh, on rack.com and we can redirect it on the homepage or our dashboard. As you can see, the Rack is providing us with some free trial and uh, it's a good thing because actually you can find out if the Rack is a good setup for you or it's providing good set of skills that you can need uh, for your company or for yourself if you're self-employed. First of all, we want to go and make an integration like this. We want to go to the top right corner where our profile is and we want to press that with our left button. Now we want to go to integrations and in integrations we have to find uh, Microsoft Teams should be somewhere around here or we can use the search engine yeah there's just a workbot but uh, you will need to buy rack integrate package as you can see but there's other way how you can make this happen uh, not only through rack but through zapier.com you have to also create an account here, but it's very easy, very fast and no, no unnecessary, not unnecessary uh, ads showing up. Once we create a, an account here, we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. You can name your zap, obviously, with like rag to teams. And we are here. The first thing we have to start with is uh, first trigger. First trigger will go through break like this. It will trigger an event. The trigger event is either new folder or new task. Let's go with new task. In this particular reason, you can go with a new folder. It doesn't actually matter. Press continue and we need to choose an account. Uh, the account is the one that we already created at Rike. So, all OK. Set up a trigger like this. We press continue. And now we can test the trigger, but it's not mandatory, so you can skip it. Second one, or second step, is the action that uh, will be affected by the first trigger in Rike. So, we are using Teams. We press Microsoft Teams in search engine, and we have to choose an event. When new folder in Rike appear, it will affect create channel, send channel, or send channel message chat channel or just a create a channel. Let's go with create a channel. We press continue and as you can see the last thing you will have to do is just sign up with uh, Microsoft Teams. That's about it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.